What's up YouTube, Martin here, it's World Cup Travel, coming at you from the old quarter in Hanoi, Vietnam, more specifically at Avalon Beer Garden. So you might be confused by the title because it's, uh, you know, referring to tasting coffee in Vietnam, and so why am I at a beer garden? Well, simply put, this beer garden has the best view in the old quarter, and it's my second time up here, and I've already checked out all the you know, main coffee places. There's basically three main coffee places in this main square area of, um, of the old quarter. And so I'm gonna kinda give you a little recap and just talk about coffee in Vietnam in general, which by the way is amazing. So before I got here, uh, I had no idea that Vietnam was such a large coffee exporter. They're actually the second largest coffee exporter after Brazil. Um, which is interesting to me just coming from Boston because in Boston when you go to a lot of like the gourmet you know coffee shops or even you know Whole Foods or Trader Joe's and you're trying to buy coffee not a lot of it is from Vietnam like most of it is actually from South America which makes sense geographically speaking um, as far as like shipping costs and things like that it's obviously cheaper to get coffee from South America for us in Boston than shipping it all the way from Vietnam but um, Globally speaking, Vietnam is the second largest coffee exporter in the world. Um, they are also known, well, Hanoi specifically is known for something called egg coffee, which I never even heard of until I got here. Um, and so I ended up finding the cafe that actually invented the, uh, the egg coffee back in, I don't know, it was like the mid 1900s or something like that. The uh, patriarch of the family basically used a little bit of innovation. So at the time when he made the egg coffee in Vietnam, there really wasn't a lot of milk. And so to kind of stretch the milk out and make it, you know, make it last longer, he, um, he took uh, egg yolk and he added a little bit of sugar and he whipped it up and then he added a little bit of condensed milk to it. And then he put that in people's coffee. Um, and then it just basically became a hit and it became its own thing and today, it's kind of like a cultural artifact of Hanoi is this egg coffee and it's like, it's awesome. I mean, it's like a liquid dessert. It's not too sweet. I mean, I'm sure if you wanted to, you could put more sugar in it. I don't like things that are too sweet, but it is really, really good. It's like, it's just fluffy and uh, it's pretty amazing. So um, the name of the cafe, I'm probably gonna butcher it. I mean, it's spelled in English as Gyang Cafe, but I think when I was asking for directions to it, it's um, it's pronounced as Xiang, like there's a Z in there when they say it. Um, and by the way, it is hard to find. Like it took me almost two hours of walking around this place to find it because it's in the cut. Like it's really, it's this tiny little, like it's that, like a little hallway, long hallway like that, just inserted into the side of a street that has a lot of other busy stuff going on. So I actually ended up walking past it and then I had to turn around and walk back uh, once I figured out that I walked past it, so it's um, you know, it's pretty tough to find. Luckily, I did the work for you, so I'm gonna actually show on the screen the intersection that you need to be at. It's basically diagonally across the street from this intersection that you see on your screen. And then, um, you know, I'm gonna show you a couple pictures as well, so you can kind of get an idea of uh, what the outside looks like and the inside, and of course, the egg coffee itself. So, my first time having egg coffee was there at the home of its origin. Uh, it was 25,000 for one glass, uh, one cup, which is probably like, I don't know, it's not a lot of money. It's like two bucks maybe. Um, it's cheap and it's really tasty. Uh, I actually got two, two of them. Um, it's probably not even two bucks, it's probably like a dollar fifty, but um, so I had it there. The second place I had it was across the street from here over there at Coffee Club. So, uh, at Coffee Club, they also have it. Um, well, let me take a step back. So the three main coffee spots you can, you can visit in this old quarter main square is Coffee Club across the way, uh, two floors down from Avalon Barbecue, or Avalon Beer Garden, rather, uh, is Highlands Coffee, which is actually like a chain, kind of like Starbucks. We have it in Chiang Mai as well. Um, and then across that way is another coffee spot as well so if you truly like coffee I would recommend going to coffee club across the way 
because they actually have not only egg coffee, but they have like other types of like, it's like a coffee spot, you know what I mean? Um, Highland downstairs is not a, it, it's like, it's like watered down, you know, mass produced coffee. It's not really, they probably like pre-make it, God knows like a week before and keep it in the fridge, like that type of thing. It even has that feel to it, you know what I mean? It doesn't look like an actual like place that you get good coffee. And honestly, the view, if you're going for the view, the view's better up here at Avalon Beer Garden where I am, because it's two more floors up and it's more open. Yeah, so I would come up here. They serve coffee up here too. And honestly, the coffee up here is probably better than at Highland downstairs. And then across the way, um, they have coffee too. And it's supposed to be a coffee shop. They also have juices, things like that. Their menu is not that extensive though for being a coffee shop. And the view is like, eh, it's all right. It's not, you're higher up than you would be at ground level, obviously, but it's really not that great of a view. So in conclusion, if you want a great view, I would come to Avalon uh, Beer Garden and get coffee here or whatever else you want. I'm having oolong tea. Or if you want really good coffee and a pretty decent view, actually it's a good view, it's just not as good as up here. Go across the way to Coffee Club. Uh, coffee Club also has a nice view and uh, their coffee is actually really tasty. So that is my, uh, my final assessment. Um, and lastly, definitely come to Hanoi. If you're in the Southeast Asia area, uh, if you're in Thailand and you need to do a visa run, consider Hanoi. It's actually a really cool place. Um, really interesting, neat culture where they fuse a lot of different elements. You know, you got that old school Soviet Union communist influence because you, you have like Soviet flags, but then right across the way you have a KFC and a Dunkin' Donuts. So it's kind of like this weird medley. And then you got the traditional Vietnamese culture, plus you have um, French colonial influence a little bit. So there's there's a lot going on here, like culturally speaking, and it's really, it's nice, uh, it's fun. And they love their bikes out here. Like the driving's crazy here, first of all. Um, even crossing the street's crazy. Like I, I thought, you know, when we first got to Thailand, Crossing the street was kind of like an adventure, like, oh man, there's no, you know, street lights or, or whatnot. But Thailand's like a warm up for Vietnam because Vietnam crossing the street's crazy. I've kind of gotten used to it now after a couple days. Uh, now going back to Thailand or Chiang Mai is going to be a breeze. But uh, yeah, it's, it's driving out here is wild. I've also gotten a chance to experience driving on uh, the back of a motorcycle a lot here because that's how most people get around. Even their, um, the Grab Transportation, which is like the Southeast Asian version of Uber. Uh, you just call a Grab bike and they pick you up on a motorcycle. They just sit on the back and they take you wherever you want to go. So um, it's a good time. Hanoi has really grown on me. And uh, I will hopefully be back here with Naomi at some point. Uh, after this, I'm going to go hit up the Lenin, uh, excuse me, Lenin Park. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to do the Ma Hong Bay one day tour. My home base is supposed to be beautiful, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I'll probably end this video with like a one minute clip of my Hong Bay footage, just so you guys can see what uh, what that looks like out there. Looking at the pictures looks amazing, so I'm excited. Uh, yeah, and uh, just come, come to Hanoi, check it out. Uh, this is Martin's World Cup Travel, signing off till next time. Peace.